Keyforge players, I hope everything is well for you and today it's my first video in English. This video is very special, that's why I'm doing it in English and maybe I will do more video in English if you like it. So, what is that video? Here you can see all the cards of Age of the Ascension. Maybe you will see on my channel I do a lot of video about Keyforge, I'm also a judge and organize tournaments. And for now, I choose to do a top 3 about the best combo I see in the new extension. Be worried that it's not exactly all the perfect combo, but I choose that 3 combination about one ID. It's that there is only 2 cards needed in your deck to have that combo. So you will see what happened. I will speak about all the top three and explain why I choose that top three and will change uh, later maybe, but for now I choose that card. So first top three, we can go top three. So I have to choose all the cards and wait just until I choose the card. First one, you need Gunger Chieftain, who allow you to ready and fight with a neighboring creature. And other one you need it's German Note. Maybe you know it that card and you know that combo because a lot of people know it. So when you play it, fight or reap, you can return a friendly creature in your hands. So when you play that card and you have that card on your hand or in the ground, in the battleground, you can go back to your hand and play it again. So it's always rule of six. And it's important to know that if there is no creature, so if that one it's on the ground, that one it's on your hand. So you play it, you ready that one, then you can reap, go back that one to your hand, play it again, and so on, until you uh, you have the rule of six. So you can reap a lot. Also, you can maybe fight a lot with other creatures, then uh, always allow you to kill little creature and go back to your hand. So that's a really great combo. There is more things, but you have only to remember that uh, there is only two cards. So two cards, it's very easy. Uh, hope you like that top three and that first top three. It's uh, for me very easy to have it in one deck and very easy to place. Let's go to the top four. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going quickly to the top four because I want to speak about the top one. Top four. So I need to choose the card once again. Just a second. All right. So first card you need, it's Binet Rupture, who uh, have Alpha, so when you, you you have to play it first thing on your turn, but each player gain Eagle Amber to their pool. And you need Enter Dimensional Graft. If an opponent forge a key on their next turn, they must give you the remaining Amber. So that's very good, that's a very great combo. Imagine the opponent f6 and you can't do something because you can't capture, you can't steal. But you have that combo in your hand. So you put the opponent to 12 and then you are sure to steal it and not, not really steal, but yeah, to, yeah, I can say steal. You, you are sure to uh, steal. All the rest of the his number, so six for for that example. So I'm thinking it's a great combo. Uh, it's very powerful, and the opponent cannot feel it because if he can forge, you can do the combo. And if he cannot forge, maybe you will not do the combo, so you will keep that card in your hand. And during your turn, you can still win Humber. So maybe you have four Humber, you go to eight with that card. The opponent go to 12, then you will one Humber, you go to 9 now, and you maybe you don't have more Humber, but you will win 6 more at the end of your turn. So think that it's very it's a big combo, uh, nobody can tell me that it's not uh, that case, uh, for sure. And also very easy to have in your hand, very easy to play it, so uh, that's why I choose it to place on number 2. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please... Say welcome to the best combo for me. <laughs> okay, I'm choosing the card. And then, first combo card you need, you need Key Abduction. I'm sure you know that card because it was on Call of the Archon and it's still on Age of the Ascension. But now, there is one more card which is so powerful and we need to do something about that card. Please, community, we need to do something. It's called Martian Generosity. So now, 
I know that you just have to look at the card and you for sure will know the combo, but I'm still going to explain it. So first thing, you will play Martian Generosity. You will all you will lose all your Humber, but then draw two cards for each Humber lost. That's very powerful. Without key abduction, I think that card it's so much powerful. Better than Bait and Treat, better than Library Axis, who will who have a Nervata, who that I call Nerf. Um, yeah, that, that's so great card. You you need to do something. FFG. If someone of FFG are looking at that video, please do something. But if you have Martian Generosity with key abduction, it's more powerful than you can forge at maybe zero humber. That's crazy. Uh, I also play Martian, uh, Martian Generosity. You can play it when you want during your turn. So that's very great. And the other uh, idea is um, that you go like you have maybe four Humber in your pool. Then you have like two or three creature Mars. You can rip with it, play Martian Generosity and go to have like seven Humber. It's not uh, a lot. You can have it very quickly. So if you have seven Humber with, with playing Martian Generosity, you will draw 14 cards. Just think a little, 14 cards in your hand. So that's just crazy. That card alone, that card just alone, it's great. But with key abduction, you can play it and, oh, you, you win one key for zero because it costs plus nine. Uh, but you reduce by one for each card in your hand. So that's, that, that's just crazy. That's really just crazy. That combo, it's so much powerful. And we need to do something because I speak only about two cards, but I see some uh, some deck who have two key abduction, two Martian generosity, or maybe uh, there is a card in Mars who uh, it's a creature who allow you to rip and archive one uh, card Mars in your uh, in your discard pile, so you can uh, have that one or that one in your discard pile and then archive it and then play it again on the next turn. So that's so much crazy. So it was a little video about my top three. I can show you more. So that is my top one for sure and forever <laughs> on, until maybe there is um, FFG will do something. Then you have the top two with Binet Rupture and Anton Demonstrational Graft. And then the number three, it's Ganga Shift, uh, Ganga, Ganga Shiftain with Drummer Note. That's all the cards I think who are very great. If you have one of that combo in your deck, look at it, play it, and maybe you will f uh, feel it for more powerful. Uh, that's very great. A very, very beautiful uh, little combo. If you have a better combo, you can uh, write it on the commentary just uh, below you now on the video. I hope uh, you enjoy it. Uh, it's my first video in English and I hope uh, I will do more so you can subscribe. You can uh, let me a commentary if you want more video in English. I do my best. Uh, I always be uh, simple and uh, f be focused on simple things. Uh, I'm not a professional. I'm just a big fan of Keyforge and want to uh, speak with all the community. Uh, see you on the next video. Bisous, bye bye.